the weather in most of the places in Hermosillo is very hot. There are a couple different places where it's more humid next to beaches in Guaymas and Puerto Penasco. It can get more humid um, because there are some beaches close around. But in Hermosillo, it's, it's very hot and it's dry heat and Caborca as well. And so it's one of the hottest missions in the world. The highest that I saw it get to was around 50 degrees Celsius, around 125 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, now that wasn't very often, obviously, but it can get very, very hot there. Um, the weather also in, in specific places can get cold. I did see snow once on my mission, so pretty, pretty, it varies pretty, pretty well there. Um, in Agua Prieta and in Nogales, it can snow there and it gets very cold during the winter time as well. So it's, you gotta kind of got to pack for everything when you're going to that mission. Just expect cold and heat. Uh, most of the year though, it is, it is very hot and very humid at times as well in different areas. In Hermosillo, the, the houses are, it's a bigger city, so there are quite a few um, nicer places, very wealthy places as well, um, places that are very well off, and it's very interesting to see how the people there interact with each other. Um, they are all very kind uh, to the missionaries and to the people around them. And then in, in the smaller cities, um, like I was in, in Palme and Miguel Alemán, those are pretty, pretty small cities, and they're very poor areas. Um, very few paved roads, a lot of dirt roads, and, and a lot of houses built, people built them themselves, either out of metal, they just have metal shacks, or just very small, humble houses as well. Um, those were mainly in the smaller cities. You would see a lot of those just on the outskirts of the town. Um, in the in the dirt roads and there were there were quite a few quite a few um, crimes that I was able to see obviously with the drugs being so big in Mexico there were um, quite a few crimes with that and there's just a lot of drug problems there as well with with the people and so that can be a big challenge but it definitely is able to be overcome by the, by the people there. They have good hearts. Um, they want to know and do what's right. They just, a lot of times, don't know what's, what's missing from their lives. And so that's why us missionaries are there to help them. We can, we can see um, either what they're missing or what they need or what they need to do better, and we can help them accomplish that as we learn and love um, them, and we can help them through their challenges as they help us learn as well. Um, especially in northern Mexico. A lot of people think that when they're in northern Mexico, if someone's talking to you normal, then they are yelling at you. They have strong voices, and so many people from down south in Mexico, if they come up north, they think everyone's yelling at them. Um, and I always thought that was kind of funny because um, I never felt that way. I always felt that it was just normal. Maybe I'm a yeller too, but um, a lot of people would say that they had very strong voices and they we're always yelling at people. And so that's kind of a funny thing about that culture there in Mexico is that that's just how they are. They are very strong with their voices, always trying to help people out as well, but it always seems like they're yelling at you.